Hey, welcome to your bar above class for tonight. We are just going to need a couple pieces of equipment. If you don't have everything, that's fine. Don't worry about it. These are all just options to really take your workout up a notch. The only thing that you really need is something to hold on to. So a railing, a wall, a chair, a bar, whatever you've got at home. Second thing that is recommended, a set of weights. Third would be a ball. So a playground ball, a Pilates ball, or even a pillow from your couch. Anything that you can squeeze and squish. And then finally, we will need either a gliding disc or a paper plate, or even a towel or a sock sliding along the floor. So it really depends if you're on carpet or hard floor, but just anything that you'll be able to slide your leg in and out with. So we'll really work through those inner and outer thighs all right, once you have everything, meet me right back here, and then we're going to get started. Arms reach out, brace through that core, sink down into the plie, full range of motion here. Sweep down, then half range. So you're going all the way down, and then just doing the top half of that squat. Knees and toes always facing the same direction. Good. Worry about the legs first. You can always add those arms in later. Get a nice big smile on your face. Get ready for the work to come. Plie, tap front. Down, tap and reach. Tap and reach. Good. Deep breath all the way in. Exhale, reach forward. 
Get that little stretch as you walk out. And you can drop down onto your knees and uncurl your toes. Make sure you have some room to step behind. Breathe through that core. We're going to be stepping back into a plank. I'll give you some options as we go. Front leg steps back. Back. And then in. So for now, your knees can come down on the ground. If that works for you, keep it there. If you want a little more, knees can hover. Back. And in.
grupos. Take that leg, bring it behind us. Curtsy, tap. One more. Switch sides. Right into those singles. Grab one dumbbell and then our ball for the next song. I want you to stand next to the bar. The leg that is closest to the bar is in front. We're resting one hand on the bar and we're coming down into a deadlift. Take two pounds down, two pounds up. Knee, ankle, knee back up. Good. Keep that weight shifted towards the front foot. Nice straight spine. Hold it halfway here. Fly wide and in. Good. We're going to be adding on a hamstring curl to that fly. So you're pulling your heel towards the opposite cheek. Fly and down. 
Let's come back into that deadlift here. Go down, down, up, up. Good. That going. Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Are we feeling that burn, that fire through our glutes and the back of our legs? Stand up nice and tall. We're switching sides. I'm going to turn and face away from you. You can always move your bar to the other side. Leg closest to the bar in front. Legs like we're standing on a plank. Up tall, straight spine. Here we go. Down, down, up, up. Let's hold it halfway here. Get that fly wide. While you're doing this, you're pulling Sweet your shoulder dream, blades dream. together. Sweet dream, Are you ready to add on that hamstring Sweet curl? Dream, dream, Pull that heel up and fly. Fly. We need to stay in control of the ball. So we are squeezing in as we curl that heel. One more. And back into that deadlift. Down, down, up, and up. This is a great song to use a little bit of a heavier weight on if you have it. Sweet dream, dream. One more, please. Sweet dream, dream. And lift all the way back up. You can take that ball out, set it off to the side. And then you're going to want to grab your second weight for our next song. Starting off in a half squat, toes face forward, feet just a little wider than the width. We're sinking down and then turning our toes out to the plie. Here we go. Keep those palms facing the ceiling. We will be working through those biceps on this one. Hold wide. Take those arms down, up. Can you sink just one inch lower? Good. Let's do one of each. Squat and curl. Squat, curl. Toes wide. 
concentration curl. I want you to get as low as you can. This is it. Last set of curls. Sink down, sink down. Hold it there. And stand back up. Great job. Grab that paper plate or gliding disc. We are facing the bar. And we're coming back into a ski slope lunge. Under the grip on the bar. Go back, in, back, in. Good. Skeleton sand. Pull that leg back behind, cross it over. Cross and cross. So it's actually pulling in using that inner thigh. Cross it behind us and over. Pull that leg cross over. Now pull it in. Keeping that slight bend in that back leg. Four. Three. We're putting those three moves together. Looks like this. Back, cross, in, stand. Back, cross, in. Join me when you're ready. Four more.
to the ground next let's take a deep breath in exhale release that back out and find your way to a seated position on the ground weights nearby your legs can be straight or they can be bent we're just sitting upright here we've got two weights in our hands they press up we're getting a tricep extension overhead Come down up down and up a little bit harder if you have a weight separated into a bridge position. We still have our weights with us. Arms are straight up in the air. Get that spine in a good position. 
We're flying up and in as we lift our hips into that bridge. Join me when you're ready. Weight stay over the center of the chest. One more. And then we pulse up. Little pulse. Arms and those hips. Four, three, two, take everything up and in, legs glued together, we're lowering down, 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 in, in, good, back to that bridge and fly, down, up, down, Everything. Little lift. Chest fly and bridge. Four. Three. Two. Squeeze everything up and in. And we'll extend it all out. Go out. Out. You have the option to crunch up. Or shoulders stay down. Up to you. Back to that bridge. Down, up, down, up. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Get that pulse. Down, up, up. give you some options for this. You can always have your hands on a higher surface if needed. Take that deep breath in and out. Nice strong core. Step one leg through your hands. Step. Reach up. Come down. Step back. Other side. Through. Reach. Lower down. Step back. One more time. Step through. Reach up. Down. All right, now I want you to drop one knee down to the ground. We turn, we open to a side plank. Turn down and step back. Try that on the other side. Drop the knee. Turn and open. Turn back down. And you have an advanced option here. You can cross the leg over. Uncross, get the other side, cross, open up, come down, all right, push up here, one push up, 
push up, knees or toes, and then down dog. Try that again. Push up, hold knees or toes, down dog. Step that leg through. Step, reach, lower down, step back. We're back at the top. Now you have the option here to lift all the way up into that passe. Come down and back. Two more, just like that. Good. We're getting that side plank. Knee drops. Then we turn and open. Turn down, step back a little bit quicker this time. Drops, turn and open, come down. Remember that advanced option. You can cross in front, open up, turn down, uncross, other side, cross, open up, come down. All right, one push up here. Push up, hold knees or toes, go down dog, try that again. Same thing, go again, you can. One more time. job. Drop down to those knees. Grab your ball. We're going to be lying down again. I want you to put the ball underneath your front foot. Now, if you don't have the ball, you can't use the pillow for this one, so you're just going to go without it, and that is absolutely fine. Lie down flat, hands behind the head. Your back leg is going to lift up in the air, keeping it straight. Lift, lower. Now, if you want, Shoulders can lift off the mat, so you're in more of a hollow hold position. That back leg is not touching the ground. It's just lifting and lowering. Keep that back leg down. Take the front leg. Roll it in and out. In and out. So it's sort of like that half bicycle. Without the ball, you just bring that knee and elbow towards each other. We're combining those two. It's one of each. That back leg is not going to touch the ground at all. With one lift, then one curl in. Here we go. Lift, crunch and curl. A little bit more advanced would be to keep your head, neck, and shoulders off the ground the whole time. A little bit easier would be to allow that back leg to lower. Good. Switch that ball to the back leg. We're taking the front leg now. It lifts up, down, up, and down. Good. Remember that option to keep those shoulders up. Keep that back heel into the ball. Cross body crunch is next. Let's crunch and roll in and out.
Good. Both feet on the ball. Can you reach both arms out in that hollow hold? And lower everything down. Congratulations, you made it to the end of class. We finally get to cool down and stretch. Let's lie flat both on the back. Fingers in I want you to reach your arms up that overhead. Slide Point one to toe down at a time. That strips my conscience bare. It's witchcraft. Good. Take one arm and down. And I've do got this. no defense and for it. And then switch. The heat is too intense for it. Switch. What good would common sense and for again. it do? Good. Take both arms down. Hug it's both witchcraft. knees into your chest. Let those ankles roll around. And switch the direction they're rolling. Take both legs straight up towards the ceiling. Hands behind the abs or the thighs. Once again, I want you to point your toes in the air. Feeling that stretch through the back of your legs as you do this. Proceed with what you're leading me to. Hold it with your toes pulled down towards your shins. Try to straighten those legs out the best you can. And gently remove one arm at a time. Lower both legs all the way down to the ground. Gently roll over onto your side and then we'll come up to a seated position. those hands and out, rounding through that spine. I know it's strictly taboo. Walk when those hands back. And we're going to lean me. towards My the leg that's on the top. So if your right yes leg is on top, I want you to lean me. towards the right. Proceed with what you're leading me to. And undo it's that. Let's get the other leg on top. Pitch. But one that Let's I take that deep breath all the way in again. As you exhale, no nicer witch than you. Check out which leg is on top. You're going to lean over towards that side. And release that arm all the way down and out. Let those legs uncross. You can roll all the way back down into a comfortable position, whether that's with knees bent, legs straight, that is up to you. I want you to gently close your eyes and take a few deep breaths in and out. I want you to pretend like you're lying out in the middle of a thunderstorm. You're feeling those raindrops hitting your face, hitting your arms, and yet you're really, really comfortable. There's something about the roll of the thunder and the crack of the lightning that should be scary but instead it brings a sense of peace and calmness to you. Even if you don't normally like storms, this is one that you somehow enjoy. It's as if that rain is washing all of the negativity out of your life. Allowing your breath to flow in and out. In and out. Not worrying about 
anything else going on around you, inside of you, outside of this moment. And when you're ready, gently wiggle those fingers and toes, bringing yourself back to the present moment, rolling over onto your side, and then up to a seated position. Take that deep breath all the way in and up. Release those arms down. And one more time, finding that calm, amidst the storm, take that deep breath in and release it back out. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope you have a great night.